This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. How you can help the West Hazleton Fire Department with their annual fund drive next. Welcome everyone to another day of local information. I'm Ken Kerr and I thank you for watching. State police say 57 year old David Carls is a person of interest after a fire they think may be intentional at Beach Mountain Lakes in Drums on Tuesday morning. Carls is white, five foot four inches tall with brown blonde balding hair and a beard. He had on a knit hat, blue dicky type pants and a blue mechanics jacket with the words Carl's Electric on the chest. He was driving a black 2019 Jeep Cherokee with a Pennsylvania license plate with a picture of a tiger on it with the number PZA787B. The Jeep has a brake light out on the rear driver's side. If you see Carl's, please say to not approach him and to call 911. Every time a call comes in, they're ready to serve, and now a group of local firefighters are hoping you'll pick up the phone or visit their website to help them out. Here's Lisa Sugar. The 2021 West Hazleton Fire Company Fund Drive is officially underway. I'm pleased to be joined today by Kyle Kashak, who is the president of the fire company. He is also the second assistant chief. Kyle, thanks so much for being here. Tell our viewers what those contributing get for their money when they do make a donation to this fund drive. Thank you for having me. Those who contribute towards the fire company fund drive in turn get an investment back into the community. What we do is all the money raised gets invested directly back towards the community in ways such as our equipment we purchase, our protective equipment we wear uh, when we respond to these hazardous calls and also our community outreach portion of it. When we go and install smoke alarms, uh, we participate in other community events, our Santa project towards the end of the year when we go around with Santa Claus. So your contribution not only helps you in the community, but also helps the community as a whole. And there are a lot of calls that you respond to. So you're a busy fire company in the community. So you really need this help, especially in light of the COVID cut out your fundraiser. So that makes this fund drive exceptionally important, correct? Absolutely. So in turn with COVID, it affected all of us in many different ways. It affected the fire company's fundraising abilities. Uh, this is our second year in a row we had to cancel all our fundraisers. Uh, in precautions of the whole COVID pandemic. Uh, and it also increased our call volume as well. Uh, every year our calls have been increasing significantly and COVID has also attributed towards that as well. So the money raised is gonna help us to be able to provide that protection to our community and assist our surrounding communities to the best of our ability. Is there a set fee that someone pays for this membership or how does it work? So the first round of fund drive mailings was sent out. Uh, any contribution is greatly appreciated and will go towards helping the fire company help the community. Uh, so there's no set amount that is requested. You could donate whatever you feel is uh, helping the community. Um, we appreciate any dollar amount. I would think right now with the price of gas going through the roof that that's having an impact on your vehicles. Absolutely. So the, the price of everything is slowly uh, climbing. Um, so from fuel in our apparatus to the cost of the equipment that we purchase, uh, everything's slowly on the uprise. So these monies will be used to keep up with the times, upgrade the technology that's out there uh, to be able to serve our community. When you said the first mailing went out for this fund drive, who does that entail? Is it just the residents? Is it the businesses? Can people outside the area? How, how does it work? So when we send out our fir first mailings, it goes out to all the residents, all the businesses within West Hazleton Borough. Um, and then in turn, uh, the reminder goes out to all the people who weren't able to donate the first time. Um, if you live outside the area and still wanna contribute, we do appreciate that. Um, again, any donation goes a long way towards not only helping West Hazleton Borough, but every community outside that we respond to and assist their agencies as well. And how has the call volume been? Has it been on the increase regularly? Uh, every year we do see a substantial rise in our uh, call volume uh, for West Hazleton and everywhere else in the area. Um, our calls are greatly increasing along with uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Um, that's raised our calls significantly. We're now responding on a lot more medical calls, assisting our medical partners in the community. So our volunteers are taxed. Um, they're responding day in and day out. So many calls. Um, and again, having to do all the administrative side of things, plus deal with their own personal life. So we are seeing everything increase. Um, and we're just trying to handle it. And everyone's doing a great job at that. Well, lastly, uh, if people have not received a mailing yet or whatever, how do they make their contribution? Can they call for more information? What can they do? Absolutely. So there's a couple of different ways. Um, if you want more information, uh, feel free to visit our website, www.westhazeltonfire.com. Uh, there's ways to donate through our website, uh, through a secure payment option on our website. Uh, you could also call the firehouse 570-455-3696 if you haven't got a mailing or you would like one, and we will personally hand deliver it or mail it out to you whatever way. Um, and again, any donation, any way is greatly appreciated. Um, and again, your donation will go a long way in helping the community. Well, good luck. I hope you have a very successful fun drive. I hope a lot of people respond and that you can do the best for the community thanks to all the generosity from the people you serve. Thanks so much, Kyle. Thank you very much. Today's news feature is brought to you by the Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott. Need to relax? Book a stay at our indoor pool and dry sauna. Call the Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott at 570-453-0300. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service on Wednesday, mostly cloudy with a high near 47 degrees. Wednesday night, partly cloudy with a low around 44 degrees. On Thursday, we have a 50% chance of showers after 1 p.m., partly sunny with a high near 60 degrees. On Thursday night, rain showers likely before midnight, then rain and snow showers likely between midnight and 1 a.m., then a slight chance of snow showers after 1 a.m. We have a 70% chance of precipitation. It will be partly cloudy with a low around 31 degrees. On Friday, mostly sunny with a high near 40 degrees. Friday night, mostly clear with a low around 20 22 degrees, Saturday mostly sunny with a high near 41 degrees, and Saturday night mostly cloudy with a low around 29 degrees. Still to come, details on a PennDoc contest for high school students and a feature story on the Hazleton Area High School girls volleyball team. A Taste of Hope to benefit the American Cancer Society will be held on November 20th from 11.30 a.m. until 4 p.m. at Lakeside Ballroom in Barnesville. For tickets or for more information, you can call 570-645-4228. SBTV News, Flight Descent Sincere Condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Joseph M. Fell on age 76 of Beaver Meadows. Mass will be held on Thursday at 10 a.m. at Our Lady of Lords Church. Friends may call on Thursday from 9 to 10 a.m. at the church. The Frank J. Bonham Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Emil John Ketlin, age 68, of Evans, Georgia, formerly of Hazleton. Services will be held in Georgia under the Thomas Potet and Son Funeral Home. Kathleen Ann Cosgrove, Paul, age 76, of Weatherly. A service will be held on Saturday at 11 a.m. at the Philip J. Jeffries Funeral Home. Friends may call on Saturday from 9.30 to 11 a.m. at the Funeral Home. Jeremy Boomer Petrilak of West Hazleton. Mass will be held on Friday at 10 a.m. at Transfiguration Church. The Hillary J. Bonham Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. And Irene R. Stodge, age 75, of Whitehaven. A graveside service will be held on Thursday at 1 p.m. at the Laurel Cemetery in Whitehaven. The McNulty Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Tonight's obituaries are being brought to you in part by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. With two locations in Rockland and in Drums, 570-384-3312 or 570-788-0977. And go to harmonfuneral.com.